It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 12th, July 12th, Thursday. Now, this is for all signs. Um, not every reading will resonate with you. If it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Okay. Um, my deck is, is already mixed up. It's already partly reversed, partly upright. I just need to let somebody know. Somebody made a comment about, you always flip the last card on purpose to make it reversed. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is already mixed up. It's, it's Okay, there's an upright, there's a reversed. Okay, so just want to let you guys know, this is already mixed up. It's not going all one way. I flip as I go, so they will come out as, as needed. Um, I just happened to flip the last, you see what I'm doing? I flipped the last one. So anyway, this is uh, the last pile, okay, gets flipped. Anyway, this is for all signs on Thursday, July 12th. We have the Four of Wands upright, the Six of Cups reversed. The Death card, transformation. And you know, it's funny because I felt like today was a day of transformation. It is a day of transformation. I feel like somebody has been clinging to the past for too long, clinging to the memories. Okay. It is time. It's time to, to release, let go. Endings bring new beginnings. Four of Cups, wanting more. I want more. I'm ready for more. Ace of Wands reversed. Eight of Wands, something is happening very quickly to bring you contentment underneath the Four of Wands. Something is happening, you could be receiving communication, or there's just some very swift movement. The Tower reversed. The Magician reversed. The Queen of Wands reversed in the Five of Swords upright. That Five of Swords has been a pretty prominent theme for, I would say, weeks. Weeks. Now, the Five of Swords is kind of like an egotistical card. It's where somebody needs to prove themselves. They need to win the battle. I need to win, and I don't care who it hurts in the process. So that's kind of the meaning of the Five of Swords. But these people are, are, are walking away. They don't, they don't need to be involved. I don't need to be involved in your egotistical drama. You know, I'm just, I'd rather just walk away from this. So. Yeah, so it feels as though today is a day of transformation where somebody decides it's time for a new beginning. It's time for me to find my happiness. It's time for me to move on from sacrificing myself needlessly for a deceptive situation. Okay, the magician reversed is deception, it's lies, it's trickery, it's deceit. Underneath the death card, somebody has decided to end it. I'm going to end these lies, I'm going to end this manipulation, whether it's even been self-manipulation. I'm looking for more. This, is, this has gotten old and drained me of energy. Somebody has been drained of, of, of life almost. You know, I've been drained of my self-esteem, my self-confidence, and my self-worth. And my passion 
an excitement for life for too long. And I no longer need to prove myself. I would rather just walk away into happiness and contentment. Somebody has forgotten what love is. The Six of Cups reversed. They've forgotten. And it feels as though things are changing pretty rapidly today as the Cancer New Moon is coming in. The Cancer Eclipse is removing this ego self, you know, the rejection part of it, the what you've held on to for so long, clinging to the past. It's, it's transforming it. It's clearing it out. Because you want more. It's, I've waited too long. I've waited long enough for this passionate new beginning. That isn't coming. So I feel as though today is a day of... of removing yourself from a situation. Whether you like it or not. This is universally driven. There's a new chapter starting as you walk away from this ego self. So, you know, it really feels as though somebody has stayed too long. They've stayed too long in a situation that doesn't have no growth. Caused a lot of discontent within their inner foundation. Draining. Physically exhausting. It's been exhausting. And now the ties are being severed with a little help from the universe. Okay? Because somebody has been sacrificing themselves needlessly for something they've held on to in the past. Okay, so I think there's positive forward movement. Somebody has been wanting to walk away from this situation, this disaster, this situation for quite some time, and the, and the, but it's been on their mind, and, and they haven't quite let go with the Eight of Cups reversed. There's been a lot of emotional disappointment, but somebody was waiting for the right time, okay? They were waiting for the moment of truth where they could release. Now, eights are about now. This one's reversed. This one's upright. Right now is the time to bring back happiness, to let go of the past. Allow yourself to heal and transform. It's a day of transformation. We have the Temperance card next to the Death card and the Tower card, okay? So there's a, this is a day of letting what no longer serves you fall apart, break down, Five of Cups. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Somebody has come to the realization that the only way for me to have a new beginning in life is to allow this to release, to not fight it. Somebody has been focused on emotional disappointment and loss and hurt. For so long that they've become complacent. And now, you know, I've not received for too long with the four. I've not received. And there's an opportunity, a new opportunity for a union, a partnership after you release a new partnership, something more fulfilling. So somebody has stalled.
a new beginning. And they've held on to emotional disappointment and loss. for so long that they have forgotten what it feels like to be loved. But I feel like today is a day of accepting with this five of swords, accepting and just walking away for real, for good. I am turning my back on this deceit this feeling rejected, this lack of passion, this lack of confidence, this lack of self-esteem. I'm turning my back on it because I want more. I deserve more. I deserve more. I want more. I need more. This isn't getting me anywhere. It's not getting me anywhere. So I feel like today is a day of transformation where somebody receives the, the release with a little help from the universe, like I said. To allow happiness and contentment and joy into their life. It's something that they've wanted for some time, but the time wasn't right, and now the time is right. Somebody is headed towards stability, security, abundance with this release, this transformation. Somebody is going through a transformation as they release a new beginning that is stable and secure and solid and long term is coming in. No more, no more tension. Feeling a little bit of relief. Letting go of the power struggles. Letting go of the inner conflict, making a major life choice to truly move on, okay? Five, five, five. Power struggles, life choices, conflicts, instability, divinely guided major life choices and changes. Somebody is being divinely guided with a little help from the universe. To release the death card, the past with the six of cups reversed, the past feelings of hopelessness, the past feelings of love that didn't stay, the memories that are holding you back, releasing those memories, that's what this is. The universe is divinely guiding with 555 a major life change. And it's going to bring about personal freedom. It's allowing you to let go of the old and bring in the new. And that is what today is. The old is being pushed out and the new is coming in. The old has physically drained you. But there's a new opportunity for something much more emotionally content just waiting for you to see it. So I feel like today is a day with a little help from the universe is pushing people, nudging people down that wonderful new path. There's an ending with the death card that is bringing a much more happy, stable, content, committed relationship, whether whatever the relationship is to you. And it's going to happen very, very quickly. It's going to allow healing. It's going to bring balance and harmony back to your life. It's going to allow you to start a, a new chapter with, with um, 
these as this is released. This card fell out, so we're gonna go with it. Mmm. This is from the Archangel Michael deck. You craft, you created this situation and you have the power to change it. My prayer, thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. And that is what today is about. Today is about releasing whatever doesn't bring peace to your life anymore, releasing the past, allowing the new to come in. Letting go of the struggles. Expect the unexpected. Expect for things that you have. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. Expect for things that you have held on to that no longer serve you to be removed. Because it's a time of transformation. It's a time of new beginnings. It's a time of release. And it's a time of healing. Everything happens for a purpose. And your best bet would be to just cooperate and let go. The temperance card is about cooperation. If you fight it, you will continue to struggle. The universe is bringing healing to your life because the time is now. Right now, be prepared for a, a new chapter to begin. So this is what I have. Talk to you later.